Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Hafiz. My name is Hafizullah Masoodi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add admin LTA template in your Laravel 9 and Vue.js 3 single page applications. Now, before everything else, I want to say that if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and write a nice comment also. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this. Now for this tutorial, I already have a nice to-do application built with Laravel 9 and Vue.js 3. And if you want to use the same project that I'm going to use in this video, I have provided the link to the repository in the description of this video. Please find it there. And if you want to check out how I built this application, I have provided the links uh, to those tutorials too in the description of this video. Now let's start our tutorial. So before everything else, uh, we have to uh, download the admin LTA template from the internet. So for that in the browser, uh, let's open a new tab and search for admin LTA. And in here, let's go to this first link. And now let's click on this download. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see you can download it. Uh, as a zip file or tar file so I already have downloaded the zip file and this was for you to show you how you can download it from the internet so let's go to my file explorer and you can see this is the admin LTA zip file now let's extract it so let's extract it in the same directory and let's rename it first so admin LTA and let's copy this directory into our project directory so let's copy it and let's go to computer opt lamp well, lamp and htdocs and to do app public now let's select it and while we are here let's also open the index.html file so let's open it and one thing more that I'm going to do before going any further is that I have to now give some permissions to the to-do app directory and that is because I'm using Linux and I have copied a new directory to the project directory so I have to give some permissions to use uh, those uh, copied files and if you are using Windows or Mac uh, you don't need to do this you are good to go so let's go to the terminal and I'm already in the uh, project directory here so to give this project directory some permissions let's go back one folder so cd dot dot and let's say sudo chmod hyphen capital R 757 and then to do app now this being done let's get back to the uh, web browser and you can see this is the uh, template that we're going to use so you can find a lot of cool features in this template for example you have all of these uh, charts or all of these pre-designed stuff that you can use in your own application well I won't import this main dashboard uh, instead I will go to layouts option and open this fixed sidebar and this is a simple startup that we can use in our application and I'm also going to use in this one so let's right click and open the view page source and let's copy everything or first select everything and copy and now let's open our project in the Visual Studio code and we have to paste uh, the template code in our main blade so let's go to resources views and my main blade is this home blade so in here you can see I have my router view and all of my view components are loading in here so what I can do is control a everything and I will comment in this code and paste the new code at the bottom now let's select everything and format the document to indent our code now first of all uh, let's start from these scripts so I will fix these scripts 
Now for the jQuery and Bootstrap, I already have installed them using npm or yarn. So I, instead of writing these two scripts, I can import my own uh, JS file. So let's open a new script tag and let's declare the source attribute for it. And now let's say double curly braces, asset, and let's go to js slash app.js. Now next let's fix uh, the other uh, script tags. So the second one is for the scroll bar. So let's cut this and double curly braces, asset, and let's go to admin lt folder slash uh, url. Now let's cut this one also and double curly braces asset admin lt slash url now for the demo I don't need this script tag so let's remove it now next let's uh, fix our link tags so let's uh, scroll to the head tag and yeah this is the part well first of all let's import our own styles so let's press enter here and in here let's say link and double curly braces let's say asset css slash app dot css now let's fix the font awesome uh, link so i will cut this double curly braces asset admin lt slash paste the code now let's fix the other link so let's cut it double curly braces asset admin lt slash paste the code now let's fix this one also double curly braces asset admin lt slash paste the code now this being done will while we are already in here let's also fix the title so let's say to do application and let's also declare our csrf meter tag so i will create a meter tag and for the name let's say csrf hyphen token and for the content let's say double curly braces csrf underscore token parenthesis now i think we are good to go so let's get back to the web browser and let's go to our project tab let's refresh and let's try to log into the system Now you can see it's already working and if we check out our sidebar it's working our drop downs are also working. Now for these images their links are broken so what I will do is remove them because I don't need them and if you need images in your uh, sidebar you can uh, import your own images. So I will remove them for now so let's get back to the Visual Studio Code and let's customize all of the template so let's uh, scroll down and let's uh, start from here now let's cut these two uh, allies which is home and contact and I will paste uh, these two allies instead of for example uh, the right side the right uh, navbar that we have so if I scroll down a little bit we'll let's say I want to minimize this let's minimize this one this one also and this one also and yeah and this one also so let's remove all of these and paste our allies and if we go to the browser refresh yeah this looks uh, much better now let's get back to the Visual Studio code and scroll down a little bit well this is the image so I will remove it and instead of admin LTE3 let's say to do application for now and for the link let's put a hash and this is the other image so let's remove this one too well, let's remove the whole div and in here I will echo uh, the login or the auth uh, username so double curly braces and we have auth colon colon user parenthesis arrow name 
now let's try to uh, check it if it works so let's go to the browser refresh and now you can see it's working so let's get back to the visual studio code and customize uh, further our template so this the search bar will let's remove the search bar also it is in the sidebar so let's remove it and in here this is the dashboard widgets and let's remove the dashboard and let's remove the other links too so let's minimize them and let's remove them so I will remove these ones also well this is how you can add it guys and if you wanna leave some of this, these features you can do that too but for the sake of this tutorial I will remove a lot of things uh, that we don't need so let's minimize this and this is only to show you how you can add admin LT template in your own project so in case you need uh, some of the features I removed you can leave them and work on them so this is the uh, link and what I'm gonna do is uh, scroll to my old code and from here I will uh, copy some uh, links some router links so this is the router link and is going to the home so let's copy it scroll down and I will paste it instead of this one well this is not uh, the sidebar scroll down yeah this is the sidebar well, let's paste it at here and now we will customize it so let's move these two in our router link and now we can remove this anchor tag now instead of widgets let's say home and for this new I don't need and this is pan tag so let's remove it and let's duplicate this li and for this one let's say it should go to the tasks and this one should be tasks so let's say tasks now this looks I think uh, good so let's check our home uh, link also which is a slash and that's okay now let's copy this logout so I will copy this li and let's paste it instead of this contact so let's remove this contact and I will paste the li and I will also remove the li because we already have it here and let's also indent it a little bit now instead of home let's say settings for now now let's get back to the web browser refresh and yeah now it looks much better now these are not working because we don't have uh, declared the uh, ID of app so let's do that so let's get back to the Visual Studio code and let's do it in this div wrapper so ID app and let's also uh, declare the router view so let's uh, scroll down and this is the section that we don't want so let's remove it well, that's all the content and we don't need this section so let's remove this and this is the main content and in here let's remove this card and in here let's say a router hyphen view and let's also declare some margin top of five to this call md so let's refresh and now you can see it's loading our uh, view components and if you go to the tasks well it's not working and uh, that is because if we go to the visual studio code and scroll to the top uh, in my application you can see I have this auth roles and permissions so I have to import uh, these also in the new code so let's uh, scroll down and paste it at the top now I think the error should go away so let's go to the web browser refresh 
and now you can see it's loading our uh, view components now let's also bring our loader so let's go to the visual studio code and if i scroll to the top this is the loader component so let's copy this and let's paste it inside the wrapper now let's get back to the browser refresh and now you can see it's working just fine now guys let's fix uh, this footer also and then we are finished so let's go to the visual studio code and scroll down to the footer which is this one well I don't need the version so let's remove it and for the copyright let's say 2022 and in here I will put a hash and for this one let's say to do application and that's all now let's get back to the browser refresh and yeah it looks much better and if we log out it will redirect us to the login page so let's log in again admin at app.com and password is password and you can see it's working just fine and to check that everything is working we can open our inspect console and you can see we don't have any errors in here which means everything is working just fine now this being done guys our video has come to an end and i hope and this was useful for you and if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a nice comment also and if you are new to this channel don't forget to smash the subscribe button too if you want more videos like this now thanks for watching see ya in the next video